This is how you slide axles when you're loaded. As you can see, I got tires. On a Great Dane trailer, when you can slide, when you can close your axles after you've been loaded. You're not supposed to, but there is a way around it and I've done it several times, so. Uh, if you have to, if the load's paying good enough, you're gonna take the risk, whatever. Uh, that's on you, but this is how I do it. Hopefully this helps others. What you need to do is for your leveling valve is you need to take this up high enough. It was down here and that's where I, when I'm going down the road, that's where I leave it. But just for temporary, I, uh, put, I bring it up high enough. It's on your front axle, by the way, of your trailer. Just high enough. So, these here will clear your tire. Yes, it looks close, but if you look back there, you can see it's gonna clear the back axle. That's all you need. I just blew out an airbag because I went too high doing it like the previous time. This time I won't do that. So I'm just taking it just high enough to clear the tire. If not, you gouge your tire and then you gotta replace your tire. I've done that too. So a lot of trial and error, but I finally figured it out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back here and you need your pins to go in. I need to take the pressure off of it. But what you're gonna wanna do is you can see I have a the 7 16 wrench back behind there. Now it's not in the part that you grab on the part that you grab on the lip it's behind that on the shaft and that is where you put your wrench now all I got to do is take the pressure off of these pans and they'll go in after that I need to chalk my wheels which I need to pull forward and do usually I just use a, a 4x4 and that works um, remove, yeah, remove your wrenches so you don't gouge up your tire and figure out why it's not moving um, other than that uh, I'll show you the the results afterwards as you can see here I got some dunnage down some 4x4s just pot, put it behind the the tires there as you can see I got it over on the other side too put it behind the tires and that'll hold it you got a dump valve for your rear axle that'll take the pressure off of it just for just enough so you can actually get up, get underneath it, or get it to start budging. Anyways, let's go ahead and slide the axles. Okay, you don't have to have a dump valve to get it to move, but before I even started, I wanted to make sure my pins went in, and I had to rock it a little bit, but they did. So, really this time, we're gonna slide the axles. All right. That had to be one of the easiest times. I've never actually used my dump valve all the previous times, but sure enough, uh, that went really smooth. For all those that don't have the money for fancy trailers that can do all this stuff, but yeah, you can bypass and, and do whatever else you need to do. Uh, let me take this guy out real quick. Uh, my pins aren't exactly lined up. I'll just pull my trailer brake. All right, there goes my 7 16th. It fell out. Now my pins can come out. And my tires did not get gouged up. Looked like it had a little mark, maybe. But that was it. Maybe I should have went a little higher next time. Like I said, it's a lot of trial and error, and this is how I found out for it to work. Hopefully, hopefully this helps others. Uh, there was never any videos like this when I was trying to find them. Anyways, hope it helps.